If you're a Power Rangers fan, you may be a little confused when you look at the overall lineup of seasons and see that two teams take place in a different universe. But why is that? Well, I have an answer for you. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to the season two premiere of Power Rangers Theory, where I give you guys a conspiracy theory based on the Power Rangers franchise. Now, if you haven't seen season one and all my past theories, click the link in the description down below or the card on your screen. There's hella theories to watch. In this season, we got whole new theories, brand new juicy stuff, and stay till the end of this video because this theory gets way too deep. Now, 500 likes and I'll bring you guys more theories. I'm so excited that this theories is finally back. So without further ado, let's get right into it. In the ninth Power Rangers season, Power Rangers Time Force, we are introduced to the agency known as Time Force. Very, very simple name. They are the group who preserves the main timeline and makes sure nothing bad happens to it. Other examples of a time altering group seen in pop culture similar to Time Force includes the commission as seen in Netflix's Umbrella Academy, which good show by the way, I just binge watched the two seasons, it's fire and CW's Legends of Tomorrow's Time Bureau. I stopped watching that show. They all work in a similar way. They all try to make sure the timeline is preserved and correct and nothing bad happens to it, nothing like, you know, messes it up. The Time Force is stationed in the year 3000 and they could have other scientific abilities at their disposal besides their already used time travel as we've seen throughout the season of Time Force. Knowing all this, you could really question why their world did not end when Dr. K released the Vengex virus, or even why the dinosaurs are still extinct in their own time. Well, it's, it's really confusing, right? Because we see Dr. K in RPM, you know? But we don't really know if there's a version of Dr. K in the main Power Rangers timeline. The same could be said in the other Power Rangers universe, such as Dino Charge. Is there a Dr. K in that universe? Now, this theory I'm going to talk about is one from the fine folks at the Illuminati. They're the ones that talked about how Power Rangers was quote unquote getting canceled. Well, I was the one that said that. Um, this fan theory suggests that when the Time Force detects a major time altering event, that would simply be too big and unstoppable to prevent. As you know, they're just one team of Rangers, you know, six, if you include, you know, Time Force Quantum and also the, the, the Guardians guys also but when you come with a virus that like destroys the whole world or sledge has a big bomb i don't know you can't do much with six people and a little army that's nothing basically even the dino charge ranger couldn't stop that so what the time force would basically do is they would bam they would cut the timeline in half and split it into two different parallel dimensions basically to create a whole brand new dimension so that those big events could play out within that dimension and to keep the original timeline in check. So basically, there's one timeline where Vengex didn't take over the world, the computers are fine, <laughs> no one's privacy is, you know, done with. Well, kind of, sorta. That's, you know, whatever. And then there's another timeline where, yeah, Vengex basically destroyed the whole world and there's only one city left. Two completely different timelines. So one with no damage and one with big, massive damage. Prime examples could be seen throughout the whole Power Rangers multiverse. There are so many different worlds of the Power Rangers multiverse, it really makes me want to do a video about it. So if we reach the like goal of 500 likes, I'll be sure to do a video about that. Also, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. A big percentage of you is not subscribed. So subscribe today, you can always unsubscribe later. I got fire Power Rangers content and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. Now, one of these universes is the RPM universe. We all know about it. RPM's like the best season, duh. Where Vengex infected all the computer systems, the world's communication, power, and defense systems, basically destroying the whole earth. Now, this destruction would have been beyond repair and near impossible to stop because it's a virus. What are they gonna do against a virus? Huh? Shoot the computer? What's it gonna do? Make the computer explode? That's about it. Vengex is in another computer. You know, my jokes are really bad. I should really, I'm, I'm not a comedian. I'm just a regular dude. So what they did was very simple. Like I said, they would split the timeline and stop the event from occurring in their original timeline. So 2009 in the original timeline was very peaceful. You know, I want to know what happened in the years 2009 and 2010, where there were just no villain attacks in the world because, you know, Power Rangers stopped after Jungle Fury, technically. 
and then samurai would happen so like what, what were those two years just peaceful i would assume right now the exact same thing with the timeline splitting and whatnot would happen in the same thing in dino supercharge after the final battle was sledged the dinosaurs avoided extinction and were basically spared so the dinosaurs were still alive which to be honest if that would happen today i would be really weirded out because i don't want to see a t-rex in my backyard but maybe that's just me i'm built different that event would be so massive and it would basically affect the whole timeline without the extinction of the dinosaurs back in the prehistoric era the mighty morphin power rangers wouldn't receive their dinosaur based powers and so on you know it basically just affect the whole timeline you know it would affect the next team and zeo and Terro and blah 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 maybe obviously some teams wouldn't be affected because they're not in the universe of mighty morphin but since mighty morphin is kind of the backbone of the rest of the Power Rangers history, it really would affect the whole timeline, how the whole franchise would have played out. So basically, since this alteration is too severe to alter with such a big event like living dinosaurs, which, what do you think? Would you like to have a pet dinosaur? You see Jurassic Park, this is a bad idea. Dinosaurs living is a bad idea. Can I say that right now? You see Jurassic World, let's not profit the dinosaurs, okay? They're gonna eat us. I don't wanna be dinosaur food. So um, I gotta get back on track. Basically, the Time Force split the timeline so that Dino Charges has their own universe now, where the dinosaurs are living, and you know now it's a dinosaur museum, and they're just living there. The dinosaur zoo, whatever. I I forgot about Dino Supercharge. Then there's the original timeline where dinosaurs are still gone. I hope, right? You know, hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, the Don Fuego, and Instagram, not Don Fuego. I sometimes post Power Ranger memes and videos and whatnot and nostalgia. Go, go follow me there. Now, with this theory, you may need to think some things over, right? For one, if this theory is in fact true, why did they not do this exact thing during their own series when they had their huge battles and stakes? Or when the 25th anniversary occurred and we had Lord Draven's attacks and dimensions in danger? Now, to answer that, this theory suggests that if the Time Force intervened in those events, it would basically be a paradox if they try to do something like that obviously because they would be interacting with themselves right it's a paradox they would the world would explode right that's what i think it's my power rangers theory they couldn't do this when they were battling over in 2001 because the catastrophe was due to their own timeline being in danger due to their actions from their own time now when the 25th anniversary special dimension in danger rolled over the threat wasn't just to their dimension it was to all other dimensions, including both RPM and Dino Charge universes. And that's why they had to get involved in that catastrophe and do something to prevent it. But that's really about it. The Time Force may, in fact, be responsible for all these alternate dimensions in the overall canon of the Power Rangers universe. Now, it may seem confusing or more like very, very confusing. That's temporal mechanics for you. And I barely passed my science class, so I think I'm the least qualified person to talk about this. Let's find a scientist, let's, let's, ask, let's ask them, don't ask me. I'm just the guy with the camera talking about Power Rangers theories. I'm 19 years old, I should be living down my life. But hey, that's it for today's video. Leave your theories in the comments down below and you may be featured in the next episode of Power Rangers Theory. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, like the video, Twitter, Instagram, y'all know the drill. I'm Este, have a great day, and of course, and as always, stay awesome, everybody.